movement of materials across the membrane. So in this lesson, we are going to study about the movement of materials across the membrane of a cell. So in the previous lesson, we studied that all living organisms are made up of cells and the cells, they have different parts which have specific function. Each part of a cell performs a specific function. So we studied the functions of different parts in detail, including the cell membrane. But in this chapter, we are going to learn more about the cell membrane. The cell membrane, it allows the materials to pass through it. So that it allows the materials to get into the cell and out of the cell. So for this process, there is an wonderful mechanism which takes place, which carries out the passes of materials through it. So we are going to study about the different mechanisms by which the materials enter into the cell and go out the cell. Going in and going out of the cell. So different materials, they go inside the cell and sometimes they go out of the cell. So here we are going to make a list of materials and we are going to find out whether they go into the cell or they go out of the cell. So the first one we write it here water and the second one oxygen and proteins and glucose fats vitamins carbon dioxide and waste. So here we have a list of items. Now let us see whether they come in or go out of the cell. So in, out. So I'm making it into two columns. So now we are going to put a tick mark. If it is in, just we keep a ticket here. Water. What happens to the water? Will it go inside the cell or will it come outside the cell? The water enters into the cell for various biochemical reactions that takes place inside the cell. Inside the cell, different process takes place. Out of the process, the most important process is cellular respiration. So the cellular respiration takes place needs water. So in the re, uh, different uh, reactions, not only the cellular respiration, synthesis of proteins or breakdown of a protein, protein is to be converted to amino acid or fats are to be converted into fatty acids. So changing a fat into fatty acid needs energy, water. So water is required for different biochemical reactions. So the water is taken by the cell and at the same time, water is sent out of the cell also. In the same way, in different chemical reactions that takes place inside the cell, water is produced as a waste also sometimes, so it is to be sent out. So the water, it always moves in, get inside the cell and goes out of the cell. Now the next oxygen. Cell requires oxygen for the cellular respiration. To liberate energy from glucose, oxygen is required. So oxygen, it goes into the cell, not from the cell. Oxygen, it goes into the cell. Proteins, proteins, do they go into the cell or come out of the cell? Most of the proteins cannot enter the cell directly. Proteins generally in the form of amino acids, they enter the cells if they enter. If any protein is prepared or synthesized, it comes out of the cell. It may go from one cell to another cell. So generally the secretions like hormones are in the form of proteins. They are produced by the cell and secreted out, sent out. So they go out. Glucose, it enters the cells. Glucose, it enters the cells. That is for the process of respiration. In the same way, the glucose may come out of the cell also in some cases. Fats, 
fats of course they may not be directly entering into the cell in the form of uh, fatty acids they may go they enter into the cell and they come out of the cell both the things happen in case of fats even vitamins they can go inside the cell they can come outside come out of the cell also in certain cases but in most of the cases the vitamins they go inside so whatever the nutrients that are absorbed from the food which contain the vitamins minerals so these vitamins and minerals are absorbed into the cells for various metabolic activities so carbon dioxide carbon dioxide it is sent out of the cell not inside the cell never takes the carbon dioxide inside the cell because inside the cell there is no specific uh, use of carbon dioxide accumulation of carbon dioxide in the cell is toxic dangerous for the cell activity so it has to be thrown out so the carbon dioxide is sent out of the cell and waste what is the waste urea basically urea uric acid or lactic acid these are the different waste materials produced inside the cell they are to be sent out of the cell so they go out not in they don't enter the cells so if they enter the cells that is a dangerous condition so they are to be removed out of the cell so if we look at this table we understand certain substances they can go in and come out there is a both way possibility there are some substances which can only enter there are some substances which only goes out so in this way there is some difference so the waste materials like carbon dioxide usually they go out of the cell because accumulation inside the cell is dangerous they go out of the cell whereas these uh, certain substances like uh, oxygen and all they always go inside because they are required so by understanding by looking at this table we understand that for every reaction for every second in our cells there is a lot of transport between the cell and the outer environment there is a lot of traffic we see different kind of materials are going in and coming out we see that water it's going in coming out gases like oxygen carbon dioxide getting into the cell coming out of the cell so this transport it's not simply happening through the membrane the cell membrane it is not blindly allowing all the materials to get in and come out it is a protective membrane it is having some mechanism which will allow only the needed substances or only the needed materials only the specified or recognized materials through it not all the materials even water also sometimes it will allow to pass through sometimes it will not depends upon the concentration of ions or the water water percentage of the intracellular environment when compared to the extracellular environment so all these different things we are going to discuss now okay so to understand the mechanism by which the materials are transported through the cell membrane we are going to see some activities so to do that activities we need some solution so now we are going to learn how to prepare a solution and we may need sometimes for some experiment we need saturated solution so we see that saturated solution solution saturated solution what are these and how to prepare them what are they solution and saturated solution so you might have studied how to prepare a solution in your chemistry lessons to prepare a solution we need two things one is solvent and the other is solute basically the solute may be a solid the solvent may be the liquid which is in large quantity in which a solute is dissolved to make a solution 